This is how much wine the average person in Malaysia drinks every year, around 3 deciliters, or 10 ounces. And this is how much wine the average French person drinks every year. In this video, we are visualizing global drinks consumptions. Wine has been produced for thousands of years and has its oldest known origins in China and Georgia, dating as far back as 7000 BC. Here we can see some current day examples of wine consumption per capita in year in a selection of nations. Today wine is a common drink around the world, but it is mainly in Europe the highest numbers per capita can be found. In Italy, Andorra and Slovenia, over 40 liters are consumed per person and year, only trailing France and Portugal with over 50 liters. In many nations, consumption has gone down in the last decades, including in France, where the number was 70 liters in 1990, and even higher before that. On this map, one marker represents 3 liters of wine consumed per person over the age of 15 and year. With that we change focus to the most consumed alcoholic drink in the world, beer. Here every marker represents 10 liters of beer consumed per capita and year. And as we can see, it is more evenly distributed across the world, even though the consumption in Europe is still the highest, alongside some other spread out nations. Here we visualize the consumption in a few different nations, starting with Bhutan, with 2 deciliters of beer consumed per adult person and year. and ending on Czech Republic with 135.4 liters. Spirits comes in many shapes and forms, and the preferred kind varies across the globe. Vodka-heavy Eastern Europe has some of the highest numbers on this map, with Latvia topping the list. But we also see rum drinking Caribbean nations well represented towards the top of the list. In this visualization, one marker represents one liter of spirits. Here we can see some examples of the consumption of spirits in different nations.
let's turn our attention to some sugary drinks, starting with fruit juices. Well, statistics here lack on a global scale. We can still make comparisons between some nations where statistics are available. These numbers show sales of packaged fruit juice, and so the 2 liters sold per person and year in Brazil would land at approximately 12 liters, if we include freshly squeezed juice at home or from cafes and vendors. Orange juice is the most popular kind globally, and in the US it accounts for half of the sales of fruit juices. Canada tops the list with 30 liters consumed per person and year. When it comes to soft drinks or soda, the consumption is declining in many of the high-income nations, following a growing consciousness of the health impact of sugar, while it is on the increase in other nations. The countries on the American continent are topping the list at around 140 liters consumed on average per person and year. The number for the US is down from 190 liters 20 years ago. When it comes to coffee consumption, Europe is once again the world leader, alongside a few other nations in Asia and the Americas. On this map, one marker represents one kilogram of consumed coffee beans. When it comes to tea, a few nations stand out in comparison with most others. The South American nations of Argentina, Uruguay and Paraguay dominate the list. One marker represents one kilogram of tea consumed. Finally, we will end by looking at milk consumption. On this map, one marker represents 30 liters of consumed milk or milk products per person and year, including cow, buffalo, sheep, goat and camel milk. The list is dominated by Europe, Central Asia, the US and Canada. Here we can see consumption visualized for a selection of nations. Get
topping the list with 368.6 liters of milk consumed per person a year is Montenegro. Thank you so much for watching this video on food consumption. I have other videos on similar topics that you might find interesting. If you do so, please consider subscribing.